Okay, so now tell me uh, who you are and why you're here, one by one. Uh, my name is Alexi, and this is my partner, Matthew. <laughs> and you are marching with Russo, the Russian... Right, I'm marching with the Russian gay group. Russian-speaking gay group. Russian-speaking gay group, thank you. Right. Because they're from Ukraine and right, all the right, Soviet brothers. Right, right. So why did you choose to go with them? Uh, I feel it's very important for us to show the support to our gay brothers and sisters in the former Soviet Union. Right, especially Moscow outlawed gay right, pride for right, 100 years. Right, we'll right. Long be dead. Exactly, and we are so lucky right. to be able to, to do right. what we are about to do. And you? I support him. And you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but it's, it's wonderful that you made the choice. I made the same choice years ago, and I showed up, and no one had ever I came showed up dressed as Uncle Sam to make it obvious I was an American marching right. in support of right. right. And they said to me, we didn't step off to 2.30. They said to me, you just showed up? I was the first one. Wow. And yet, it, I realized, I said, this is the most important group, because they had gotten so much hate. Like all Slavs should be killed. These people are a disgrace. We, you know, I can't tell you. I had 800 videos on YouTube, and the um, gay Russians marched proudly through New York City. Got more hate comments. I never heard of Slav pride. I don't. I know Slavic people. Right. I didn't know there right. was a Slav pride thing. You know? right. And I found coming here, I realized they're Russian speaking, mostly Americans, but some of them are not great at their English. Right. So you are here as Americans like me. Yes. I'm gonna be in the wheelchair taking it easy because I tell you when you walk all the way down there you get tired. Let me see if it, anyone else can talk to me about about being in the group. You? What? Can you tell me about why you're marking with Russo? Oh, because I'm from Russia and I escaped oh. from my country. Yeah. Oh, great! I interviewed a boy last year, but he was on a tourist visa. And now oh, it's a very long Washington. story. Oh, I know. Yes. He had come over on a tourist visa, now he's in Washington, I think, lobbying for immigration. Yes. But he's engaged. Yes. He's engaged, so the day is a big day in his oh, life. It's oh, of course, because right. for us it's a very important so event. So you escape, are you here legally? I'm escaped because of humiliation persecuted right. by government. Have you, did you, were you granted asylum? I mean, you don't have to uh, get Yes, it. yes. Yeah, you were. I'm going Was to. that hard to get? What? Was it hard to get asylum? Oh, yeah. Very, very hard, right? Very hard. How many years ago? For oh, one year. One oh, year one ago. Year. And is the solemn granted permanently or is it year to year or what? No, no uh, I'm waiting for my interview because it's a very long process. Oh, oh, yeah. so you, you it, it keeps you here for a few years yes. until they settle it all? Yes. yes. Would you ever consider going back to Russia? No. Or? Eastern Europe, even I don't want, Ukraine, yes. nowhere. Yeah, no, nowhere, no way, nowhere. Only but everyone wants to live in the United States because it's just only one exit for me. I right. can't go away. And is there any other anybody else speaking ah, English? It's, uh, I'm not sure that they speak English. No. <laughs> Anyone speak English? You can, you can find maybe I'm on the I... because it's all our. So. These are all your people? Oh, I guess yes, because they disappeared. Oh, I don't think those the woman up there. Are. Oh, you can ask. Let me see. Okay. Anyone willing to talk about being with Russo? Why you're marching with Russo? You speak English? I mean, is there a reason? Are you from Russia? Or you just come from Russian roots and are concerned about the people, or what? I came from Ukraine 20 years ago. Oh, I have brought a Ukrainian flag. I wanted to write on it, Freedom for Ukraine. So, I mean, that must be very difficult. So you've managed to get landed here legally and everything? Or green card? I'm not trying to put you on the spot. I had a boy that was going to overstay his tourist visa, and I held the video until November. I had a big camera and a camera person and a microphone. Now I'm working with this little thing. Was it difficult to get to the United States from Ukraine? Do they get please you in a lot of trouble? Uh, well, uh, Say compared to easy. compared to Britain, which I'm sure is very easy. Well, uh, I came from uh, it was a very different part.
word of immigration. Oh, okay. And is your friend speak English? Do you speak English? I do speak English. Are you well known? Me, and tell me about Russo and why you're here. I don't here. really know anything about them because I'm really just a friend of someone who's. Well, part that's of fine because I'm an American too. I don't know. I I don't speak uh, Russian. But I so don't you're know the anything. third supporter. I've been telling people come and march with a group that matters. You know, you're an American like me that's who showed true, up to show support for our brothers and sisters who are being harassed. And, and beat up. I mean, he interviewed a lot of a boy who was here on a tour, so he said he was one of the few that protested in Solshi, and oh, yeah. all of a sudden his friends began disappearing. Yeah, now he's, now he's, he's in bad. Washington and seeking asylum, and he's getting married. He's engaged. So right. he might have actually made it. He's only 22 years old. Yeah. His mother was so happy he escaped. I think it's wonderful, God. This is to all more Americans like you and I. But I'm from the UK, so we're fairly safe there. We're allowed oh, to get married. Oh, so you understand. Yeah. We're safe. You know, you know what it's like to live with you. We're ahead of the US even, with, in terms of... Only, only part of Ukraine. Only the European people that want to join Europe. Yeah, but I'm not from Ukraine. I'm from the United Kingdom. I live oh. in England. Oh. So you have a friend from Ukraine? Oh, yeah, the guy who's invited from me, oh, he's from okay. Ukraine. I'm busy, I didn't make it. Thank you very much. No worries. Anyone? Anyone? Anyone want to speak to me about... Anyone speak English to me about Rusov? Okay. Uh, who are you? I mean, what, what, are you marching with Rusov? And, and why are you marching with Russo? Are you from the Soviet uh, I'm Union? From, I'm from Russia, from Moscow. Uh-huh. So and you got out. You escaped uh, I Russia? I live in Toronto. Oh, great. Toronto is probably better than the United States yeah. for that, right? Yeah, it gets uh, like marriages for almost 10 years. Was it easy to get into Canada? I didn't really escape. At the time, uh, Russia was not that homophobic. So I uh -huh. just uh, wanted to travel to... It was not escape. Because Russia, uh, Canada is much better given refugee status than the United States. But I was not refugee, I just uh, was immigrant. Oh, you just were an immigrant? Yeah. And now you're a Canadian citizen? I'm applying, I'm almost there, but uh, it's not like... I'm you, but you, if you're there and you have the papers working, you know yeah, you'll become a Canadian. I hope Some so. of my best friends are Canadian, but I tell you, I would never stand for that cold weather. I, I have friends in Toronto, oh, yeah. maybe for June, July, August, and September. Oh, but I mean, yeah. when I, I see can't. the temperatures in Toronto, you know, a friend went to the ice, there's an ice palace they have up there in the middle of February. He rode 18 hours on a bus for this. I said, I would like I rode Toronto on a bus because I want to take some books back. It's a, it's a wonderful city, but oh, the weather. Yeah, but uh, you know, in, in, in Russia, it's, it's the same. Oh, so, Russia uh, the same? Same as I am. Oh, well, okay. So, Thank you very much. Oh, what, uh, what flag is that? Can I ask you about your flag? What? The flag. Yeah. I don't recognize it. Where is it from? Kazakhstan. Oh, really? Yeah, Barat. Barat country. Yeah, Barat country. <laughs> so, and you're from, you're watching with the Russian yeah, people? Yeah, it's, it's there, it's there. Oh, that's great. I, yeah. But Pakistan isn't part of the Soviet Union. No. Pakistan? Never been. And what did she, did she say Pakistan? Oh, she was like Kazakhstan. Yeah, it was. Oh, oh, it's one of the 19 stands. Kazakhstan was part of the yeah. Soviet Union. Oh, okay, yeah. I was saying. I never heard of it. I know there are 12 stands, 12 or 20 stands, and no, nobody knows the difference. Yeah, I know. And you're marching with them too? Are you? I'm just like from from St. Petersburg. From where? Russia, St. Petersburg. Oh, in some Russia? Russia, St. Petersburg. Oh, St. Petersburg. Yes. Oh. But I'm living here in New York. Oh, for how long? 15 years. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm already a citizen. A friend, a friend of mine made a fortune. He went to Sotheby's. I want to get that sound out. And he bid on, he sold this book and it had the Sarvina scale with pictures of St. Petersburg. Yes. He bought it for like $300.
Then they discovered their mistake and want to buy it back. And he was a photographic dealer that I'd rather like to keep it. Nice. Because he was so well versed in, in yeah. Marina sales. Yeah. That yeah. Even, yeah. even if that was years ago, that made his whole his whole photography business. That was the anchor of the whole thing. How's this, your name? My name's Randy Wicker. Randy Whitman? R Wicker. Because yeah, you look like uh, Uncle Sam. American I Uncle Sam. I dressed up as Uncle Sam. I'm getting more respectable. I first came here as Uncle Sam four or five years ago, and they said, what, you just found us? You just showed up looking like that? No one had done that before. That was yes. one. That was uh, that was one. Look at that Bobby started. from Donetsk. Where is that from? Donetsk. 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 Oh. Yes. Well. <laughs> I just flew in now. <laughs> just another Ukrainian tourist, I bet. Thank Simply you. that. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.